Should I buy or sell Snapchat? The report for Snapchat was first published on our website Friday, March 24, 2023, but this is a more detailed version. Subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since March 21, 2023, our system ranks Snapchat as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 3.571. In this period the stock has had a gain of 1.58%. This is an average return of 0.4% per day since first recommended. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current 3-month trend indicates a possible 16.78% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between 5.25% and 33.58%. The 12 month trend it indicates a minus 65.48% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 100% and minus 70.66%. This equals a price between $0 and $3.39 after a year. In our daily updates for Snapchat, our last headline reads Green Day on Friday for Snapchat. The Snapchat stock price gained 1.49% on the last trading day. Friday, March 24, 2023, rising from $11.39 to $11.56. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 3.67% from a day low at $11.32 to a day high of $11.74. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a 11.8% gain for the last two weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 20 million shares and in total, 19 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $221.84 million. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $39.80, and the lowest price was $7.33. Right now the price is 70.95%, or $28.24, below 52-week high and 86.13%, or $71.78, below all-time high September 24, 2021 where the price hit $83.34. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, February 1, 2023 Credit Suisse set price target to 13. On Wednesday, February 1, 2023, Rosenblatt Securities set price target to 10. On Wednesday, February 1, 2023, Rosenblatt Securities set price target to 10. On Wednesday, February 1, 2023, Rosenblatt Securities set price target to 10. On Wednesday, February 1, 2023, Credit Suisse set price target to 13. From analysts Snapchat stock received a general buy rating. The analysts give PE ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been found for Snapchat. The Snapchat stock holds buy signals from both short and long term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $11.12 and $10.77. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the 3-month moving average convergence divergence (MACD). Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, February 7, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 5.32%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 33 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 40 days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 8 days ago. 
Long-term moving average, by signal 5 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 4 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 5 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 20 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 39 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Snapchat Snapchat finds support from accumulated volume at $11.40 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $0.415 between high and low, or 3.67%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 5.91%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Snapchat. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Snapchat currently has a price earning ratio of minus 35.19. A negative high price to earnings ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even the most established companies experience down periods, which may be due to environmental factors that are out of the company's control. However, companies that consistently show a negative price to earnings ratio are not generating sufficient profit and run the risk of bankruptcy. Next upcoming earnings report for Q1 2023 is expect to be released April 20, 2023. The consensus among the analysts are dash dollar 0.230. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Snapchat meets first resistance at $11.66. If you do not hold Snapchat shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Snapchat finds first level of support at $11.40 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Snapchat is buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On March 16, 2023 Hunter Jerry James made an inside buy of 103,111 of class a common stock. On March 16, 2023 Hunter Jerry James made an inside sell of 103,111 of class a common stock. On March 16, 2023 Hunter Jerry James made an inside sell of 69,753 of class a common stock. On March 16, 2023 Anderson Derrick made an inside sell of 49,200 of class a common stock. On March 16, 2023 Moro Rebecca made an inside sell of 1,131 of class a common stock. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be positive at a ratio of 16.898. In total, the insiders bought 7,499,723 and sold 5,704,502 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is $11.01, minus 4.80%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 32 days ago. Is Snapchat stock a buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Snapchat stock to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Monday 27th we expect Snapchat to open down dash dollar 0.0217 and start trading at $11.54. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us.
by using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.